ladies and gentlemen, Chloe Feynman. <laughs> meeting in person. Truly, uli, uli. I'm a kissing. <laughs> Holy moly, oli. <laughs> Yay, oh hi. Oh, that's Douglas. Hi, Douglas. Douglas. Chloe, 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 Douglas, please come and have a seat. Oh, ooh la la. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous to meet you. I'm so excited. I'm such a fan. I'm of... your biggest fan. You're going to make me cry. I, I, Are we going to cry? I just, I've always, first of all, comedy to me is, I think, more than medicine, it's what saves us in the world. Yes. It's like the most attractive quality in any partner. Yes. It's the thing you want with your friends. It's what you look to entertainment for. Yeah. Laughing is the most important thing in the world. But your talent, your range, the way you play <laughs> all the characters. If it's okay, we're gonna cut to commercial break and then I would just love to display your work and ask you your process because I am just in awe of you. I know, by the way, I'm being you. so mean to you, I am in awe too of you. Um, welcome back. Okay, you just saw our guest, Chloe Feynman, the phenomenal Chloe Feynman, and we're both a little shaky because we're so excited to meet each other, and this is the first time we've been face to face. Truly. Um, I, the one thing that I think makes so much sense also for like a show like this for you to do is it's, I just thought what a perfect platform for you to put yourself as all the guests. Mm -hmm. And it was like a great sort of plug and play. You're Nicole Kidman. I mean, if you close, that's Nicole Kidman. <laughs> it was Nicole. The Reese, I love when you do Timothy Chalamet. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love. Thank you, what's I, not to love about him? What, uh, now, your process, I know that you're, uh, whenever I would start a character for a film, I started hair first. Ooh. And that was just my way into the person. Like, yeah. hair is a big thing with me. And I know that you have, like, a good wig collection. Yes, we do. Like, yes. there are little hairs everywhere from constant trimmage. And yes, yes, from Timothy Chalamet. I do start wig first, now that I think about it. Um, he was, I, I went on Amazon and got like a Gaston, like <laughs> Beauty and the Beast wig. And then I covered it in coconut oil to give it like a rocker sexy vibe and then trim, trim, trim. And then, yeah, because it really turns, for, hair is everything. Hair is, there's something about it. And I love, <laughs> because I remember when I watched the very first SNL back that was really raw, you were the only one rocking like accoutrements. And then... I think there should be like a Peabody or a Pulitzer <laughs> for what SNL did from one week to the next. I think it showed everybody what was possible in 2020. It was like it was a level really of innovation. Cool. I just, it, it blew my doors off. And, um, but I love that you always commit because I think that sometimes, especially when it's like impressions, you just want to fall into it. Mm -hmm. So the way that you design everything really I think helps that delicious spoon feed. You don't have to over concentrate. You get right in and you start enjoying at like word go. Do you realize Thank that you. that's what you do for people? I don't, but that's such a nice thing for you to say. I mean, doing you was so exciting because you were on the cover of InStyle and it's the impression that I did this summer started because I really wanted that shirt. It was so cute. Which got sold and raised like $90,000 for I the know. Rosa Parks Scholarship yeah. Foundation. Totally. So I was like, swipe, order, and then it came in. And then I, luckily in LA, had a large uh, wig collection in my boyfriend's shed. And I heard some of the clothes you wear are his. If yes. you need a male uh, yeah, you yeah. Know, mm -hmm. thing, you go to his I go closet. to his. Yeah, so I, it was lucky to have like all these things when, you know, the world was a little shut down. I, you brought so much joy. I immediately reposted that. And then I was afraid I was going to drive you away. No. I'm not kidding. Oh, I was what? like, oh, no. now she knows I'm on to her. She's, it's gonna, no. she's gonna move on and she's gonna lose interest. No. Another man in your life that's very important to you is your dad. Yeah. Okay. Hi, dad. So you guys do <laughs> improv together. We do, still to this day. Um, when my mom was pregnant with my younger sister, he would take me to improv in San Francisco at the Fort Mason Center. And it's an every Saturday drop-in class that has been going on for, not to reveal my age, but over 30 years. And uh, we still go. 
I, you know, I heard a rumor that Barbara Walter said, if you like want to make someone cry, ask them about their dad. And I feel like that's especially true for us girls. You know, I have like, when I talk about my father, I always get like misty eyed. Um, and he wasn't like, we didn't, he wasn't really around, but he was just a really magnanimous, like interesting soul. And yeah. there's something so you know, emotional and beautiful about a father-daughter relationship. Yes. And they're all impactful. Mother, daughter, father, son, mother, son. Oh my God, the mother, yes. son one. Whoa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I love that you guys do that. And Jason Sudeikis, another SNL alum, said that he and his wife take their kids to improv class. Really? And do you think that I should take my kids you to improv class? You absolutely should. You absolutely should. We, because of the pandemic, started doing it on Zoom. Uh, through the groundlings, I'm close with the, my teacher, Annie, and she let my dad be like the creepy old guy in the improv class. Was there an aha moment for you? Like when you were younger, was there a moment in life? Was it collective? Where did you say, I know how to do this and I want to do this and I'm going to find my way step by step to becoming like literally where you are there at this <laughs> moment? Gosh, I mean, I think growing up, I was lucky to have really funny. I'm from Cal Berkeley, California, and oh, so uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, so you're, yeah, I'm, yeah. You're not. You don't seem to have that horrible accent, and I'm stuck with for the rest of my life. It's there. It comes out. Uh, but my like these wacky hippie doodle, you know, free spirited girlfriends growing up, and so we were like really encouraged to just be funny and loud. And that was a way to, you know, feel cool. It wasn't about like dressing in the little dresses and, you know, we were just wild. wild. Playful. Do you have totally. any suggestions for anyone who wants to try comedy, uh, do improv, do an amazing reenactments of people? I mean, you, you just have that gift. And it's so about the voice too. Like, do you have one tip if someone's watching and just wants to start playing in their closet today. Yes. I, yeah, I oh got one tip would be it's dress up. I would get in the costume and kind of it's a dance like no one's watching, you know, just I think if you're like, I'm going to just be somebody else right now and get lost in that. That's that's usually like the, the first secret is just like lose yourself. OK, last question. Do you talk to yourself in the mirror? Yeah, of course. Oh, my God, me too. <laughs> OK, good. <laughs> so relieved. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was always a way for me to just live out fantasies. Totally, you know? totally. And I think, I mean, I have a memory of like starting to do you, Miss Drew. I was in Brooklyn um, staying with my friends and I saw some video and you, I, I don't know, I was just fascinated and I was in the mirror being like, hello. Well, you know. <laughs> I'll be in a mirror, a pair, a duo, uh, with you anytime. Um, I hope you'll keep doing this on the show. I'm like always afraid. I'm like, that's it. That's the nail in the coffin. You're never doing it again. No, you never. Have. I hope so. I just, you're my holy moly oly for life. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled you're here. Thank you. And Thank you. I am shaking with excitement. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Thank, Thank you. you for honoring us with Thank your presence you. here. And um, SNL airs on Saturdays, obviously, at 11.30 on NBC. And this week, they've got Issa Rae and Justin Bieber. Okay. Chloe, do you want to toss us to break? Yes. Yes. Here we go. We're in the pretty little middle of our show. And Sunny Side Up is the sweet and stylish and oh-so-successful Jessica Alba. <laughs> <laughs>